What's up? September now with the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your Daily Revolution. Today's topic. Do I ever have bad days? Yes, and today is one of them. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You know, I was on the road this week. I shot 52 training, teaching, marketing videos in two days. And when you shoot those types of videos where your heart and soul, it's it's just like you're in front of people. You're putting everything into it. And I got home on a late Tuesday night, probably about midnight, Wednesday, exhausted. Slept half the day. Thursday, exhausted. Now, you can even hear my voice is a little scratchy. And, you know, people ask, so then, well, do, you, do you ever have bad days? I'm like, well, yeah, if by bad days you mean I'm not, like, super pumped up and on point and unfocused. Of course. Of course I do. And I wanted to share a podcast because the truth is I don't feel like shooting this podcast. I could lay down, close my eyes, and probably sleep for another two hours. You know, when you're up to big things and you travel and then add your family and kids and church and the gym and, you know, IRS, taxes, tax season, payroll, employees, speaking gigs, writing a book, shooting podcasts, coaching flag football, football games in the week. I mean, look, and every one of you, you have your own things. You have your lives. You have all the things that you're up to. And, you know, I wanted to share this today because it's very real. I'm tired. I'm actually exhausted and I'm feeling it. And some, you know, I've heard people say, don't ever share your vulnerable, authentic self with people. Always be on point. Like you don't, here, here's a reality check. If you feel like you always got to be on, I would hate to live your life. If you, if you feel like everything's got to be perfect, I would hate to be your life sucks to be you. Cause what's the reality? You know, powerful people deal in reality. We, we live in reality. Not in make-believe land. And what's the reality? I don't always have to be on. Look, even Jesus of old, you know, he would go hang out with the Gentiles to take a break. Even he would go sleep. I mean, he's on a boat with his disciples and the boat's rocking and rolling and it's tumultuous and it's turmoil and he's asleep. And they have to wake him up. Why? Because Jesus, even Jesus was like teaching and preaching and out doing much good. And it says he slept. One of my favorite authors, mentors, Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you haven't read that book, man, you are missing out. Go read the book. It's one of my favorites. I love, that's one of my, that is the book. There's two books that, that really altered my life. One of them uh, is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Like that book, like was the critical point mindset business book for me. And the other book, it's called The Book of Mormon. It's a scripture for people who are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So we're not going to talk faith and religion and scripture. We're going to talk seven habits. Habit seven for highly effective people is called sharpen the saw. I love this habit. See, in today's marketplace, grind and hustle and grind and hustle and grind. I'm going to grind. I'm, I'm going to hustle and I'm going to outgrind you. And it's the weekend. And when you sleeping, I'm grinding. And when you at church worshiping, I'm grinding. I mean, dude, come on. Really? Like, I get it. There's a time and a place for that. There's a person who needs to hear that message. But the reality is, is every successful, powerful leader, entrepreneur, producer, they know how to create, ready? Space, the final frontier. Just kidding. But they do know how to create space. Space, like you actually take time to decompress and you actually take time to unwind. You know, in context, right? There's a time and a place to rest. Even, again, for Christians, right? Six days a week thou shalt labor, and on the seventh thou shalt rest in the labors. I know a lot of people who grind and grind, and I'm going to grind and not hustle you. And look, Satema, I, I take pride in outworking people. I'll outwork people. And guess what? I also know that if I just redline every day, it's going to cause me to burn out, fatigue, stress, and then do something crazy. Because when when fatigue is high, 
right? Power is low. And people are like, well, I know people that are really fatigued. They, they don't have power. They're in force. They caffeinate. They medicate. They drug up. They got to do all these crazy things. Is that really how you want to live your life? I'll tell you now, that's not prosperity. That is not prosperity at all. Grinding till you're dead is not prosperity. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who have made billions of dollars and they were like, good, great. But they sleep and they rest because if you don't take time to rejuvenate, if you don't take time to rest, if you don't take time to reorient and realign and remember and renew, you're in trouble. Like you're going to be in trouble. And if you're okay, you're going to take it out on your spouse and your children. I've seen this happen too many times with the people who hire us. When they hire us, one of the greatest things I do, this is very common, is we have them take some some time. Space. You know, not work. Go get a manicure, pedicure. Go watch a movie, need some popcorn. Sleep. Put your phone away and sleep. Like looking at your phone laying down is not rest. Because even a lot of the work today for the people that I know, it's mental work. It's a lot of focus and energy, a lot of tasks that got to be done. Mental work, creation, content creation, marketing, selling, like in breathing life into people. So do you take time to, to rest and rejuvenate? Let's take a look at the big four, physical, spiritual, relational, financial. Physically, do you set aside time to let your body recover, to rest? Relax. Or are you grind, 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 pre-workout, caffeine, pre-workout, give me some more drugs, and let's go, and let's go. I, I got to do it now. Dude, that's stupidity. Spiritually, do you take space? Do you create space on a daily basis? Satema loves to meditate. I meditate almost daily. I say almost because there's some days I just, I go and then I don't meditate. But meditation for me is a simple practice that allows me to create space in my day. And to just let everything settle, recalibrate, and then I get up and I go to work. Relationally, do you take time to reset your relationships? Do you like take time away from the practice? Again, I think we got volleyball practice, we got football practice, football practice, we got play practice, we got coaching calls for our sons acting. I mean, it doesn't stop. And then at homework and piano practice, it's like Alan Navers in practice, man. We talking about practice? So do you take time with your relationships? You know, do you take a date night? Do you spend time with your children? Do you put the electronics away? Do you just unplug and really get present? Or do you redline even in your relationships? And of course, business. Look, if your business needs you 24-7, you don't have a business. You have a master and you are a slave. And I can tell you right now, I didn't start business to be to, to have a master and a slave. No way. Uh-uh. No, I don't want a slave. I don't want to be uh, have time in my schedule be my master. I want to be the master of my time. So this concept of space. Yeah, when I have, quote, bad days, I know my body's telling me what? So tell me, you need to take a break. You know, back in those strategic coach days, they called them buffer days. And those are important days. Again, <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> I slept half the day, like literally slept. Even my beautiful wife's like, hey, babe, you need to just give me your phone. She's like, give me your phone. And she went and plugged it in. I'm like, good night. Like three hours later, I woke up. I was like, wow, who I needed that. Like there's a price to pay and it's not just money. There's an emotional price. There's an emotional toll that's going to be taken when you are leading people when you are building things, when you're up to, to making a difference in the world, there just is. And like most influencers and coaches and consultants, they don't want to talk about this because it's not sexy. Take a nap every day. <laughs> That's like so dumb, right? That, but they wouldn't do that. Grind is better. I'm going to hustle and grind. I will tell you what I will not do is become a slave to my business. So... I want to leave that, you know, again, am I having a bad day today? No, it's not a bad day, but I'm tired. And so I just take my time. I, I recuperate and rejuvenate and recover. And that means like putting my electronics away, laying down, close my eyes and sleeping, getting the rest I need, like hydrating properly, and even letting my mind just rest. 
Like I love to just rest and think and take some time every day to just think and breathe and rest. So if you've gotten some value out of this, I invite you to go share this forward. Look and go take go take some time. Is it time to sharpen the saw for you? Is it time for you to take a day of recovery to rest? To rest emotionally, to rest relationally, rest rest physically, rest from your business? You know, maybe if you have a job, you might need to take a six day and just a six day, a sick day and just rest. Like rest. You know, sleep. Do some things around the house. Do some things that are non-mental that just like, you know, pulling weeds. That's a weird thing. I don't even know if anyone pulls weeds anymore these days. Sweep, pull weeds, fold laundry, fix old doors that are broken, replace old light bulbs. I mean, do something that's just manual, that's just it's therapeutic. And that's it. Like, if this has helped you share this on, will you take time to take a break? Will you take time to rest and recover? Will you take some time to create some space for your life? Because when emotions run high, intellect rolls down. When fatigue rolls high, power goes down. And in order to create great things, you've got to be in power. And in, in order to be in power, you got to know when to take those rests and break and sharpen the saw. Have an amazing day, friends. I love you. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.